Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at the WPM World Home Pro. The WPM World Home Pro. Now this is the cheapest grinder we carry and really is an entry level grinder. In saying that, we've always said it's better to have freshly ground coffee than pre-ground coffee. So let's look at it. Basically it's a conical blade machine that's made for filter coffee and it's got your timing so you can grind, you can change the increments of 10 seconds. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60, you, you press it to start and you can press it to stop or you can let it grind out that time. We're gonna just tar out the container here. So making sure that's tarred. And now we pre-weight 18 grams into these. I actually like to have the grinders running just so the blades aren't starting on the beans. So let's get into it and go. So let's just, they're actually quite loud. We'll check in a second, but let's firstly see how much coffee we got out. And we got out 17.9 grams, which I'm actually quite surprised that I only lost 0.1 of a gram in all that. And I just wanted to see, because it feels quite consistent, but there is a bit of static around the plastic. So I'm be curious if you tipped it out, how much would be left, and it's insignificant. This time round, we'll actually use the decibel meter and check. As you can see, running the decibel meter, yes, it is an iPhone meter, so not the proper calibrated ones, but using it, we're looking at around the 90s, which is quite loud. And just checking that again, 18 grams spot on, which I'm actually quite surprised at how consistent this grinder is being. Let's go third time. Eighteen point one grams. So I actually picked up a little bit of the retention from the first shot in there, and we'll go one last time, just so we're doing four tests per grinder. But what I am noticing is this grinder is quite loud. Um, in terms of adjustments, it's you adjust it just like the browser Encore by adjusting the hopper. But apart from that, there's not much to it. Power on the side, start, stop, timer based on ten second functions, and adjustment by the hopper here. That was registering once again in the high 90s and even here it feels quite loud. So let's just check that last one, 18 grams. So what's been pretty interesting is the retention on it is next to nothing. It's really out grinding everything we're putting into it. Um, it is quite loud. The grind adjustments quite narrow in what you can adjust. We actually played with it earlier and we pre-adjusted it for filter coffee. It's just like we've adjusted all four grinders. But yeah, cleaning these grinders can be quite simple or quite complicated depending on how deep you want to go into it. But generally speaking, every month or however new like, you can just run a pack of the grinder cleaning tablets. So we're using Cafeto um, Grinder Cleaner, but there's other companies like Grinds that do these tablets. And all you have to do is open the packet, which might be harder than it looks. You drop the coffee in, also not the coffee, but the grinder cleaning tablet. Grind it out, which we'll do now. And then you have to run some coffee, which we have here, to season them up again. So let's do that now. So now that we've ground out all the grinds, what it's doing is basically cleaning all the oil from the coffee, etc., around the beans, around the blades, sorry, and really getting that chamber clean. 
Although these, this product is safe and it's food grade, you really want to season and get it all out. So now we'll do the same thing, but with coffee. And then we can take the chambers out and the hopper out and just give them a clean. So let's put some coffee in there and grind this coffee out. And now you'd want to just be, after you get rid of that, you just want to be cleaning out this chamber and this hopper. To do that, it's quite easy. Turn the power off, go coarse all the way until it, it pops out. And once it pops out, now we can go give this a rinse, give both of these a rinse, give them a clean and put it back together. If you wanted to now too, while the machine's off, you could get a, a brush and just clean around in there. This machine is actually a new machine, so it's quite clean, but just wanted to show you how to clean it, just so you get the gist of it, you know, a month or two down the track. Value for money, I think this is a cool little grinder. Just, I'm not sure I could live with the volume. We were a little bit surprised about how well this cheap coffee grinder performed for its price. I'm curious to know, what did you think? Let us know in the comments below, do you have one? Were you surprised? Were you not surprised? What did just us that was surprised? And also, most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Come join us on this journey. We want to grow this channel with you. And also hit that little bell button so you're notified when we do new videos. Thank you again.